This is Miss Buttercup. She is in her pre-lay shed. She's very, very, very deep in the shed right now. You can't really even make out her pattern. Uh, she just looks a pink, peachy color. And um, so this is very exciting. As soon as she sheds, she should lay her eggs within about 30 days. Now you can see the uh, bulges down through there going all the way to the tail and great big bulge there now sometimes there's just a little bit of a separation in the bulge right here this seems to be where she bends her tail the most but if she lays out flat kind of stretches out um, it seems like the eggs kind of move around a little bit and more evenly distribute but uh, either way she's very very gravid right now I actually just sprayed her down pretty good, and the bedding too, so the bedding is pretty damp. And um, Aspen is really not the best bedding to spray, um, but as fast as it's been drying out with the heat on this end of the cage, the bedding dries out in about four or five hours. But look at that great big baby bump. Yes, she's going to be such a good mommy. So there's Miss Buttercup. Okay, this is going to be an update on my pregnant albino Burmese python. She is laying under the heat bulb, and she's upside down. And now she's moving, darn it. But uh, a lot of the times Burmese pythons, when they're pregnant, they'll lay upside down or on their side. And if you look, she's laying upside down. Yeah, like her belly's facing up. She's putting extra heat on the eggs, and look how big she's getting puffy around the tail. She should lay in about two weeks. But she's basking with her belly side up. And now she's like, what are you doing? Get away from my belly. Like, she's really increased in girth in the last week. I mean, she's just really... Looks like she's about to explode. Hard to tell right now with her being upside down, but, um... We'll get some good shots of her belly. I hope that picks up. I'm going to close the cage because I think she's getting rowdy. She's like, get away from the eggs and nobody will get hurt.